So the another thing, well, I think the one last thing we can take a look at real quick is, uh, well, it's so silly, but this uh, enum that's nullable. Ah, uh, nullable enum. <laughs> Why? Okay. Most of this stuff is okay. I'm, I'm fine with a lot of it. This is just sort of like, you know, uh, don't take any any personal problem with it. These are all just, you know, tweaks and stuff. This, though, this is horrible. <laughs> Nobody should ever do this. If, if something is, uh, and this goes for the int above as well. Um, yeah. You've got... We could go on a whole big rant about value types and reference types, and uh, I won't, because that's actually a whole video that Charles can make someday. <laughs> but taking notes. <laughs> yeah, but I, I will say, uh, the reason you use something like an enum is to define a distinct collection of steps that can happen in relation to something. In this case, direction, which, without even looking at it, it tells me, you know, left, right, up, down. Great, I, I can guess what that is. Maybe it's north southeast west but i can tell it's going to be four directions that's going to be very clear to me the question mark is using a nullable object to tell me that it's also null is a state but here's the thing you have the point of a directions object is to have four distinct states you're adding one on top of it that's confusing everything so if if in the case of this particular application uh none is a viable state to be in mm-hmm. and none should be one of the states none left right up and down now should that be done in this case i don't think so because directions are a very discrete set uh i would ra- oh, so southwest north and east there we go <laughs> not even the right order oh, the right. <laughs> i was just gonna say i was just gonna say hold on, let me, uh, north how would you want to do it? North, south, east, west? Oh, south, east, west, yeah. The yeah. same way, Charles. Of course. I just want to make sure <laughs> we both agree on what is sane. That's <laughs> uh, funny. But, but either way, so so it's fine. You can do it this way. He does no... it over here. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. There you That's go. That's perfect, yeah. In none case. Um, I understand why, though. Because it sounds very clean to go directions. North, south, east, west. Yeah. None is not a direction. That's silliness. I wouldn't do that. Well... The unfortunate thing is your code requires it. It's actually more sensible to have a non-direction in the use case you've got than it is not to. What yeah. I would probably do in a real scenario is this is called like move directions or something. I wouldn't try to like, because you'll, you'll find a lot of developers do this. They will write something <laughs> like, uh, you know, directions as a, I can use this in any case I'll ever need a direction ever. <laughs> well, the real world doesn't work that cleanly. Oftentimes you would have move directions may be different from turn directions. They sound the same, but the requirements and use cases could be different. So I have no problem writing um, move or turn direction, and that would be something which has none in it. It's not, it's not a catch-all every time I ever need left, right, up, down. It is more directions that I need for this problem that I'm solving. Right, because there's a difference between, between saying these are cardinal directions, which are definitively north south east west west there's no other option and then you have movement you know player movement direction or player direction that's where you can say well it, there is a case where he could be in no direction at this current at this current state he's not going anywhere so yeah i i i, I like that you said that because i think that that's one thing that um maybe an abuse of dry you know, where people really like, oh, yeah. I, I already have movement. I got movement. You know, make it, or I already have directions. Like, I got to use them for, for everything. You're like, no, and, man, you can break it up. Just to say, this isn't picking on anybody because here's an example I have done and kicked myself for. I was really smart one day and I made something uh, called axes. And I did X, Y, and Z. And I thought, I've got the ultimate axes. <laughs> Every time I ever need to talk about axes, whether it's custom inspectors or whether it's my own code or I'm doing a grid or I'm rotating object on pivots. I've got the axes enum. It'll work in every. It doesn't work like that. There are cases where I only needed two of them. There are cases where I wanted to be flags and I could have two axes simultaneously. There are cases where I didn't want to have to reference a namespace from an entirely different system just because I wanted to reference the single thing. So you move it out to a commonality library or something. Now you're bringing in axes and the stuff that doesn't need it. It's a mess. If you need axes of movement or axes of rotation, make rotation axes or something. Like do. Do the thing that you need for the job you are doing. Yep. All of that being said, <laughs> there is one thing I do want to point out, which is there's actually a bigger problem with this than the kind of just general annoyance of using uh, null, which is I design with that question mark, and there's also one above for current index with a question mark. They are both telling me there is an invalid state this application can be in. Mm. Now, here's the thing. We'd understand from reading this code, all this really means 
is uninitialized. That's what that really, really means. Because there should never be a case going forward for this application where you're not using a direction or not on a particular current tile. So at least my guess of what this application is doing is that's meant to represent I have yet to have assigned the first value to this object. And sometimes you'll find that case where you're like, well, it's default to null at the start. I have to figure out what to do. I'd be very wary of that. If you start tracking through your code, the concept of this might not be initialized yet as an actual state of your application, there's a problem. Take a pause and ask yourself, can you just assign a default state before the application starts? If, for example, your character always needs to be a tile on a grid, throw an exception if the grid doesn't exist, but always put them on some tile. Don't let no tile set yet be a state that trickles through your application until you decide to put them down, because your application is now allowed by your design to be in an invalid and broken state. That will lead to all sorts of chaos. You are far better off to just say, you know what, I'll just put you somewhere. And you'll see this in some games, where even in profe you know, professional AAA titles, if you do something weird where you start messing with player values and stuff, the game will just go, you know what, they should be somewhere, I'll just snap them to the first tile I can find. Mm -hmm. Because there's stuff that just should never happen. And if it is about to happen in your code, make a best guess and put it somewhere. So what I mean by that is uh, all of this kind of nullable types, you're adding null to a situation which doesn't need null. And null is literally a, a, a black hole of breakness that'll break your code some point. You don't want to you don't want to add those at various points where something randomly could be null. Instead, if it may not be the ideal scenario, but you're better off with null objects or with assigning some value just so your application works. And that's why you get these weird things like the Assassin's Creed bugs where characters look wonky and stuff because they would rather have the game try and run <laughs> where cases where it's not critical. And this, this comes back to what we're saying about exceptions. There's a fundamental difference between an exception that is fatal, that will break your application and you don't want to propagate bad state versus stuff that might look a bit silly or wonky or whatever. So if you can recover from weird scenarios, do your best to do that. And a good example of this is at the start of your application, sometimes values need to be assigned that are not there. Don't propagate no value has been assigned. Just assign something. Mm. Assign your default grid position to zero. Assign your default index of your array to the first one. If there's no uh, indexes in the array, then assign a new empty object or something. If it makes sense, just keep your application in a comfortable state and don't let null be an actual feature that you provide in your application. It'll just lead to untold errors. Yeah. That was good. I wonder if I should... didn't know I would have. <laughs> I w just, that just came top of my head. <laughs> I wonder if they should throw in if they should have thrown an exception for that heavy rain bug, you know, Sean, Sean, like maybe they should have had a counter. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna crash this thing. <laughs> we have not recovered. <laughs> oh, cool. Listen.